Tottenham have just inked a major new deal, and their new signing is already making waves. Release the Kraken! Yes, Spurs have signed up crypto exchange Kraken to be their new shirt sleeve sponsor and their first ever crypto and Web3 partner. But while Tottenham celebrates this lucrative new collaboration, across the pond, US regulators are circling Kraken. Lawsuits and multi-million dollar fines. Is Spurs' new sponsor a golden goose or a ticking time bomb? I had a nap this afternoon, mate, so I don't know I'll do what's going on. <laughs> After the premature exit of Cinch from Spurs' sleeve, Tottenham Hotspur have now secured Kraken as their new sleeve sponsor. But just how much do clubs typically earn from sleeve sponsorships? Manchester City's deal with another crypto exchange, OKX, along with Man United's DXC partnership lead the way, both reportedly 20 million a year. Arsenal's visit Rwanda and Liverpool's Expedia deals are a step down in value at around 10 million a year. Chelsea's sleeve picture is unclear, Infinite Athlete were belatedly their front of shirt sponsor last season, but they have now moved to the sleeve as the club continues their hunt for a new sponsor. Spurs' previous deal with Cinch ran at 10 million a year. Early indications say the deal with Kraken dwarfs their previous one. So could we see Spurs march towards or even match the top performers when it comes to the side of the shirt? Thank you very much, thank you, thank you. However, this move into crypto sponsorship isn't without its risks. Kraken, despite its prominence in the crypto world, has faced significant regulatory challenges. In May 2023, the company agreed to pay a $30 million fine to settle charges with the US Securities and Exchange Commission over its crypto staking program. More recently in November, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Kraken, alleging that the exchange failed to register its services and co-mingled customers' funds. These legal troubles raise questions about the stability and reliability of crypto firms as long-term partners for football clubs. In recent years, we've seen a significant influx of crypto-related sponsorships across the league. We've already seen Man City's partnership with OKX, while Chelsea previously had a deal with Wellfin. This trend reflects the crypto industry's aggressive push into sports sponsorship as a means of building brand awareness and gaining mainstream acceptance. Last year, it was reported 18 out of 20 Premier League teams had an official crypto partner. However, can they expose clubs and their fans to the volatility and regulatory uncertainties inherent in the crypto world? Whalefin's 20 million a year deal was terminated early due to the crypto market crash and the company's financial difficulties. Rewind to 2021 and Man City announced a partnership with cryptocurrency startup 3Key, only to suspend it days later. On top of that, many clubs have received scrutiny for the sale of digital tokens to their fan base. Gee, you painted a pretty bleak picture there. Um. <laughs> With the ever-increasing pressure on clubs to meet PSR rules and the forthcoming ban on gambling companies as front-of-shirt sponsors, will cryptocurrency and Web3 companies fill that commercial void? And if so, do clubs in the Premier League itself have adequate expertise to do the necessary due diligence to assess these opportunities? As we've seen, boosting sponsorship revenues is a key goal for Premiership teams, so if you want to find out more about Chelsea's current sponsorship gamble, make sure you check out the video here. And with that, we're out.